Hi everybody, welcome back. Sipsco Games, we're here. We've got like three years left, I think. Is it three years left? Lenny's Quest 2 last episode, uh, which did okay. And Gary Olympics 26, because I had no idea what year it was. Fine, we're going to make some more games. We're going to try to specialize so that we can get this research and development center up and running and maybe hire some more people and try large games. Large games, multi-genre. All that kind of stuff. Oh, it's going to be great. Okay, Sipco Games, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's see how everybody's doing. Eric Robertson, how are you? He's fine. Look, he's smiling his balls off. Uh, Gary Olympics 26 is now off the market. It sold 866,923 copies and generated 9.5 million in sales. Wow. We actually have 70 million in the bank. My god, it's nuts. We got 14 research points. Uh, game convention. Do we want to do this? Do we want to have a games convention booth? I think we do, actually. We probably want to make a new game uh, fairly soon. Although, the timing um, is, is probably not the best because I think... Well, actually, we don't have any research points, so we can't actually research multi-genre as yet. Uh, do we want to make a sequel for something very quickly? Fine, we're gonna have to do this quickly. We'll go for a large booth at the convention that's gonna cost us 1.5 million. I can't believe we have 137,000 fans. Holy shit, that's nuts. Okay, fine, 1.5 million, down the hole, great. Uh, a sequel, let's check our game history first uh, and see what sequel we could do next. Uh, Lenny's Quest, it, oh God, Call of Duty. Oh, maybe we could do this, Mbox 360. We can do this on the Mbox next. Uh, a medieval action game, Call of Duty. It's top sales rank of four. Oh, maybe it's time to do a sequel to Call of Duty. I think it's time to do a sequel to Call of Duty. Let's do it. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, fine. We're going to develop a sequel to Call of Duty. Uh, it's going to be uh, Call of Duty 2 uh, Modern Phone Modern Phone Fair. Mo modern fan fit no uh, what what could it be it, is it modern warfare how did call of duty actually work it started in like world war ii and there was like about 10 games of it in world war ii and then it just sort of progressed into like modern times i think is that how it worked call of duty call of duty 2 um when a stranger calls back when a stranger calls when a stranger call <laughs> This is going to be the sequel to Call of Duty, When a Stranger Call, because that's all I can fit into the into the text box. Fine. Medieval Action Game for the Mbox Next, which we have a license for now, uh, and it's got 13.8% market share. Fantastic. Uh, we will use the Long Dong Silver 1.0, uh, and this should be fairly fantastic I think uh, we're gonna have to see how it goes uh, an action game we're gonna probably want engine gameplay uh, level design some AI possibly uh, graphics and sound uh, that should be good I think one thing that I've been doing on level design is assigning a, a, like a design role to it when I think it actually needs tech according to you guys uh, so we'll see when a stranger call uh, the sequel to Call of Duty uh, for the Mbox Next, or, or the is it the Mbox Next? I think it's the Mbox Next. It's going to cost us 450k to develop this, uh, but we should be fine. We should be good with this. Everybody's well rested and ready to go. Uh, we want 3D Graphics V2 uh, for this. I think uh, we want. We definitely want our action game on the Mbox Next. Uh, to, to be a 3D uh, graphics game, I think. Yes. Okay, let's do it then. Fine. When a Stranger Call, <laughs> the medieval action game. <laughs> Probably the best name for a medieval action game of all time. Great. Dev Stage 1, When a Stranger Call. Uh, what do we want? Uh, this is an action game. So, we definitely want engine and gameplay. Fine. Kevin Hudson can work on the engine. Uh, Ron Johnson can work on the gameplay, and uh, Vivian Reed uh, can take a back seat with the stories and the quests, which we don't really need any of uh, for this action game. However, if we want to, we could add advanced cutscenes, uh, possibly, uh, or simple cutscenes. Do we want simple cutscenes? 
Let's have simple cutscenes. I think simple cutscenes will be fine. Engine, let's go as nuts as we can uh, possibly go uh, in this early stage of development. Save game for 10k. Multiplayer, definitely. Do we want basic physics as well? Yes. Mod support if we can get away with it. And save to cloud might be a push. Look, 82%. Uh, we can't actually bring it up any higher without uh, sacrificing gameplay. Okay, fine. No save to cloud, but everything else enabled. Great. Uh, for gameplay, we will have the gamepad, we'll have achievements, character progression, joystick, steering wheel, and not mouse. Okay, fine. <laughs> we will include steering wheel support just in case uh, when the stranger calls, you want to answer the phone and navigate the uh, phone with the steering wheel. It can be like a mini game, which we'll add in uh, in the next stage, I guess. Fine. Kevin Hudson, Ron Johnson, and Vivian Reed, go nuts. Great. Let's also uh, market this as well. We're going to go nuts with the marketing for this. It's going to be a huge follow-up uh, to Call of Duty, which was like a hit game for us. Uh, so when a stranger call, we want it to do very well as well. Two million on a large marketing campaign. Yes. There we go. And we're going to be just in time for G3 as well. This is going to be great. We're going to have a ton of hype. Uh, and we're going to hopefully do very well. Everybody is totally rested and ready for this. Uh, we're going to get a lot of research points off the back of it as well. Great. Stage two. Uh, definitely level design. Uh, this time we'll have Jack Long work on the level design though, uh, because he's a tech guy. Uh, he's going to be like fully committed at this point uh, because he's also in charge of AI, uh, which is impossible actually. Jack Long cannot work on AI as well. Uh, so Kevin Hudson is going to have to. Jack Long, Kevin Hudson is probably not going to be able to do much else in this game because he's already 90% committed, having done uh, some stuff in Dev Stage 1 and also the AI in Dev Stage 2. Fine. Jack Long uh, can work on level design and Vivian Reed, once again, can take a backseat and work on dialogues, which we don't really need. Uh, do we want to add dialogue tree if we can get away with it? No, fine. Better dialogues it is then. Level design will have mini games so that we can use the steering wheel to answer the phone, as I mentioned before, plus uh, level editor and Easter eggs uh, because our our engine can support it all and we'll have better AI uh, included as well. So sliders right to the top for uh, level design and AI for when a stranger call the medieval action game. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's do it. My god. Oh shit, here we go. G3 has arrived. Cisco Games, when a stranger call. Look at that for the Mbox next. Look at all the people turning up. Look, they're all playing like an early beta version of when a stranger call. They get to like talk to Judy Dench and use the steering wheel to talk to her and choose dialogue options and stuff. 782,000 people turned up. Holy shit. Uh, does that put us in the top 100? Yeah, we're placed at 81. My god, Cisco Games is getting very popular. It's gotta be said, holy shit. Fine. We carry on. Look at the hype slowly rising uh, off the back of our marketing campaign and our appearance at G3. My god, the hype is over 186. At currently sitting at 187. Maybe we'll get more hype off the back of Dev Stage 3. Uh, we'll have to see. Fine. Uh, graphics and sounds. We want to go nuts for. I think graphics needs design and I think sound also uh, needs design. So, fine. Jack Long and Kevin Hudson do not need to get involved. Let's get Ron Johnson on the graphics and let's get Eric Robertson, who's done nothing on this project so far, on the sound. This is going to be good. World design, we don't need to worry about. Uh, graphics, 3D graphics V2. Ron Johnson will be doing his best 3D modeling. Sound, uh, do we want stereo sound for 60K? Yes, in sounds, fine. Eric Robertson will create some amazing stereo sounds. And in world design, uh, if we can add some of this stuff, uh, we, we will. Rich backstory might be the best one though uh, for our uh, When a Stranger Calls, because of course it's a sequel and there was Call of Duty. So having a rich backstory with, with a lot of callbacks to the original Call of Duty uh, might be very good. Fine, Dev Stage 3 I think is done. Uh, we should at least get a management bonus for this, which is great. And actually, it's looking like we're going to beat our previous record for design and tech, uh, possibly, at the end of this. Holy shit, look at the hype. It's just continuing to rise. We could... Oh, 281 hype. We've got to fix a whole bunch of bugs. Uh, hopefully, there's some more time to get some design points in uh, right before we go uh, out 
to market with this. Oh my god, we still have 65 million in the bank. It's absolutely nuts. We should probably hire somebody else in a minute. Maybe another girl uh, to make Eric, Jack, and Kevin feel even more awkward at work every single day. Fine. Last bug. Done. We're good. When a stranger call is ready. We have a new technology record at 308. Which is very good. Gameplay. Level 8. My god. Holy shit. Level design is level 8 now as well. We got a good management bonus uh, for that. Which is very good too. 3D graphics. V2 has leveled up to level 3. Uh, Jack Long, Eric Robertson, Kevin Hudson, and Vivian Reed are all... Uh, in the throes of um, adolescence and uh, becoming young adults, slowly becoming young adults. And of course, Ron Johnson uh, is growing a very, very long beard and uh, is going slowly insane because he's a geriatric at this point. Fine. Uh, we're ready to go then. We're ready to release When a Stranger Call. <laughs> What a name. Holy shit, new research is available. Cooperative play, no loading screens, and 3D graphics v3 at long fucking last. Holy shit, we definitely need to add that to our next engine. Great. Um, we have... We're just shy of the research points we need for multi-genre, and that's uh, that's the, our next task for research. So we're gonna find some contract work, send some people on vacation and stuff, and see how we do. Oh, look at this. We need your skills in our latest blockbuster production. Can we do this over the course of eight weeks? The penalty is only 130K. We should get a lot of research points for this, and it'll pay us 349,000 to complete it. Let's try it. Fine. First reviews for our newly released game when a stranger call came in. How are we gonna do? Oh my god. I can see flashing 10s, however, Star Games has only decided to give us an 8, as saying that they played it for days. Almost perfect, according to Informed Gamer. Oh my god. One of the best, according to Game Hero. Uh, it must be because they had a lot of fun using the steering wheel to answer the phone uh, from Judy, who is now a stranger because things have progressed from Call of Duty. Uh, outstanding game, according to all games. Holy shit. Not bad. I think we're going to make a ton of money off this, uh, which is very good, actually. Um, at the same time, oh my god, first week sales, 1.2 million. Holy shit. We just got word that uh, When a Stranger Call, which was recently released by Cisco Games, has racked up over 100, uh, or sorry, not 100, 1 million in sales. Fuck, platinum. First week. Jesus. Large games! Oh, we've unlocked large games! That's fantastic. I don't know if we're going to actually be able to complete this contract. We got a lot of research points, though, which is very good. Uh, it seems that RPG games are especially popular at the moment. Holy shit. Okay, well, let's see if we can do something about that. Um, let's see if we can finish this contract. Uh, and if we can, that would be great. If not, it doesn't really matter. We'll lose a bit of money, and then we'll research multi-genre. Because we now almost have 100 research points. Holy shit. Shit. Cisco Games surprises us again with a very enjoyable game. Uh, truly outstanding visual design is only one of the many reasons why when a stranger call deserves your attention. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could possibly be better, according to Arnie Kunkel from Electric Games. Thank you very much, Arnie. I mean, we poured our hearts and souls into this title, so... Uh, it, and it just shows as well, because look at this. My god, we've made just a ton of money, and we're not going to complete this contract, which is a goddamn shame, actually. Uh, just! It was so close! We've been penalized! 130k! Damn it! Uh, good thing we have 118 million in the bank. Fine. Uh, great! 5 million in sales! <laughs> <laughs> for when a stranger call i think we hit the big one with when a stranger call holy shit all right ron if you don't mind then can you please research multi-genre that would be great jack go on vacation also eric go on vacation let's see if we can find uh somebody who can fill uh maybe design or do we want game demo do we want an all-rounder do we want another tech person let's uh let's spend two million on finding somebody uh let's go for show reel and see what we find there we go we're gonna start looking for yet another employee this is gonna be great my god i can't believe when a stranger call has nearly sold six million copies holy shit that's nuts can we research anything else uh new topics potentially we need lots of research points holy shit uh stereoscopic 3d we're not too interested in 3d graphics v3 we're definitely interested in especially for the inbox next so uh that'll be our next goal uh, to research or oh, large games oh shit maybe we should actually research large games for 40 research points do another contract then uh who's this marco 
Marco Hale or Marco Halle? Is it Halle? Halle? Maybe? Uh, he's got pretty good design, not so good technology, uh, good speed and really crap research. What about Drew? Drew Darpishin. Drew Darpishin has excellent design, very good research, uh, good speed and not so good technology. Uh, Man, Drew Darpishan might be the guy, actually. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll try to remember him. Uh, Ricardo Burgess. Look at this. 713 design. Very good speed. Not so good on the research and technology, but 713 design. Holy shit. Jonah Chen. Uh, well, good research, good speed, fairly good design. Would need some training, and uh, technology is not too bad either. What about Richard Chariot? Good design, not too bad technology, not too bad research, and not too bad speed. I think we're going to go for... Do we want to go for Drew? I think we might want to go for Drew. Uh, we can train him up anyway. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about technology, but look at this research at 470. is very good. He'll be able to add a lot of research points uh, to the pot when we're working, which is very good. Fine. Drew Darpishan, you're hired, you son of a bitch. Oh, look at him. Holy shit. Look at how cool he is. He's very cool. God, we could maybe even hire uh, somebody else as well. Do we want to spend some research points on training? Do we need to train Kevin Hudson, Jack Long? Jack, do you need to be trained on any anything? Do you want to do some... Do you want to do a programming course, Jack? Do you want to try this for 30 research points and 140,000 bucks? Jesus. He's got 602 technology. That's fantastic. Maybe you should actually send... Ron on one of these because we want him to be oh look he can do this now with 200 research points he could become a world design guy do we want to have him specialize in world design we don't really use world design too much maybe level design would be better or even gameplay actually maybe we should gun for a gameplay fine he could use some design training so he can do a teach and learn game design course 30 research points and 140,000 uh, bucks Fine, Ron, do it. Teach and learn. <laughs> you teach and learn at the same time. That'll be great. Fine. When a stranger call is now off the market, it sold 6.4 million units and generated 70.5 million in sales. Holy shit. 70.5 million in sales. That is nuts. That must have been number one. Was that number one? That had to be fucking number one. Let me just take a quick look. When a stranger call, no. Top sales rank was only four. And it was slightly worse uh, review-wise than the original Call of Duty, if you can believe that. Look at that. Call of Duty had a solid nine. Top sales rank of four. Uh, made nearly 20 million in profit. But only sold 2 million copies. Holy shit. When a stranger call sold 6.4 million copies and made a profit of 67 million bucks. Holy fuck. That's nuts. Okay, great. We have no research points. Uh, Ron is on a uh, train teach and, teach and learn thing, which he's gaining everything he needs uh, to become the master of gameplay. We're going to need a lot of research points, which means that we should probably actually uh, create another game. Now that we have multi-genre as well, we can do this. Uh, what kind of game do we want to play uh, or make, actually? Uh, maybe we can make, like, an action-adventure game? Should we make, like, a new action-adventure game? Oh, maybe we can make an action-adventure game uh, around vampires or werewolves. Do I have vampires researched as a topic? I think... I, I don't think I do, actually. Kevin, do you need a vacation? I think he does, actually. I think Vivian might need a vacation as well. Look at this. These guys, their batteries are in dire need of uh, recharging. And also, Drew, I just realized as well, needs to go on his... Uh... Oh no, maybe he doesn't actually. Does he... he doesn't need to go like on his induction course, I don't think? Train? Fire? Where's, where's, your, where's your welcome aboard course? Product management course? No. Oh, I guess he doesn't need to do it anymore. Or, or nobody needs to do it anymore. Fine. Drew is just ready to enter the fold. Great. Game convention, just in time. It is year 28. Uh, and we're just about to start thinking about working on a new game. So let's go for it. We're going to go for a large booth. We have 183,000 fans. We can make another game. Let's do it. Fine. Game convention, large booth. 
Maybe we can make an action RPG or an action adventure game. We should make another action game because I think we've got everything we need to make an action game on the Mbox Next, which we have a license for. Um, or maybe like an action casual game, a casual action game. We'll see. Fine. We're going to do it. We're going for it. We're ready to develop a new game. We're going to create an entirely new game using uh, the Long Dong Silver, uh, and we'll see how we do. Fine. We're going to target it at everybody. It's going to be a medium game because we still haven't researched large games, which we're going to research next, hopefully. Um, we've got multi-genre now, so we can pick two genres. So, uh, primary should be an action game, and we can make it an action adventure, RPG, simulation, strategy, or casual. Let's make it a um, action RPG. We'll make it an action RPG. Fine. This will be great. Action RPG it is. We're going to go for it on the Mbox next. We're going to target it at everyone uh, and we're going to use the Long Dong Silver 1.0, the best engine. And we'll, we'll improve that engine with some of the new stuff that we research. We're, we're doing this because we need research points. Money is not really an issue at the moment because we have 130 million in the bank. Uh, what can it be? Uh, a topic? What kind of topic can we do? Should we make an aliens action adventure game? That might be nice. God, aliens, holy shit. I mean, we haven't made any aliens games, have we? Or maybe I've just forgotten? Aliens action adventure game. Let's make an aliens action adventure game. Oh, didn't we make something to do with Ripley? Didn't we call it like Ripley's Rippers or something like that? Let's call it, let's call it Rip School. Rip Squad 4. Rip Squad 4. Even though it's not the fourth installment of the game, this is the fourth Rip Squad, the best Rip Squad. They get summoned to an alien planet where they need to do just a ton of ripping. It, it just This game is just going to be full of ripping. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be targeted at everyone. It's going to be a medium game about aliens, an action RPG. It's going to cost 310000 to create. I think we got this in the bag. Holy shit. Rip Squad 4, fine. We're gonna go... Oh, maybe we could do 2D Graphics V4 for this, for Rip Squad. An action... Uh, is it an action adventure game? I can't even remember now. It's an action RPG. Okay, fine. This might work. 2D Graphics for an action RPG might work. V4 as well. 200k, fine. Let's do it for the inbox next. This is gonna be fucking great. Okay, Rip Squad 4. Man, this is going to be so good. Okay, let's see how we do then. Uh, fine, so for an action RPG, uh, we're probably going to want engine and we're probably going to want gameplay, uh, but we'll try to add as much uh, story and quest stuff as we can as well. I mean, I know there's RPG elements in it, but it's it's predominantly an action game. So we don't maybe don't need to worry too much about it. Let's, let's add... Uh, advanced cutscenes and this slide this up ever so slightly because uh, I think it's going to be worth having advanced cutscenes 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 fine uh, engine we're gonna have to uh, take some features out of so uh, we definitely want save game and multiplayer but maybe not mod support I don't think we need mod support for this uh, action RPG game uh, so that should be fine we've got Kevin Hudson working on the engine um, we got Drew, the new guy, who's still charging up his batteries, which is fine. Vivian Reed, I don't know if I want Vivian working on the stories and quests at this early stage. Maybe we should actually have, uh, Eric doing this. Fine. Eric is going to work on the stories and the quests at level 6 for Rip Squad 4. Fine. Okay. And gameplay. Uh, we may need to take some stuff out of as well because we want the slider to be high, but we probably will not use, uh, sadly, the steering wheel <laughs> uh, for Rip Squad 4. Uh, as amazing as it would have been to have the steering wheel in Rip Squad 4 uh, for extra ripping, uh, we're not going to be able to do it. So fine. Uh, we've met everything that we need to for stories, quests, engines, and gameplay. We've slid that up ever so slightly so that we could add uh, advanced cutscenes to the game. And I think we're going to benefit well from it. Fine. Dev Stage 1 complete. Let's do some marketing as well for this game. A large campaign. And we're going to be at G3 as well. So another 2 million down the hole, uh, which is fine. Oh, look at all the research points that come piling in. Holy shit. Shit. Look at my god, look at all the balls. I think we're totally gonna meet uh, new design and technology milestones on this one, by the way. It's gonna be fantastic. 
All right, uh, what else would we need for an action RPG in stage two? Probably, uh, because it's an action game, we probably don't need to really mess around with these too, too much. I don't know if we want any dialogues in this action RPG. Um, but we'll still add uh, better dialogues anyway, because it's not gonna, we're not going to have any penalty against that. We can have Vivian Reed work on the dialogues, because we're not going to focus too much on, on dialogues. We really want level design and AI. So Kevin Hudson uh, is our main tech guy. He can work on the AI. And Jack Long can work on the uh, level design because he's got very good tech as well. And I think, like I said last time, I think level design I was giving to uh, design. But I think actual level design is better suited to a tech person. Well, that's according to you guys, so we'll see. I don't know. We did really well off the last game doing it that way, so God knows. Who knows? Uh, fine. Level design, we've got mini games, level editor and easter eggs, all features of the Long Dong Silver 1.0, and uh, better AI for our artificial intelligence, uh, which Kevin Hudson is going to work on. Fine. We should definitely get this uh, management bonus as well, which is going to be great. Dev stage 2, in the bag. Here we go. Oh shit, here we go. Rip Squad 4, Cisco Games. We're at G3. We've got a ton of fans. My god. We're, we're, we better get more fans than we got at G3 last year. Oh shit. Oh shit. Did Oh yeah. Oh look at that. 900,000. We did way better than last year. Perfect. Okay, great. We can close that. Uh are we in the top 100? We're placed at 68. Oh god, that's fantastic. The hype is is rising as well. Look at this. Holy shit. The hype is up to 200 and Where's it going to stop? It's never going to stop. There's just so much hype around this game. 294 and we still have another stage to go through. Fine. Um, we probably want uh, to go nuts on graphics for uh, for action RPG. And we don't need to worry too much about sound, possibly, and world design. Uh, probably not at all. So, fine. 2D graphics, V4, we're going nuts with. Stereo sound, which is all that we can do. And world design, we don't need to worry too much about. Uh, do we want to add uh, day and night cycle? No. Do we want to add open world? Yeah, possibly. If we can bring this down slightly, can we bring this up a little bit? Like this? And then maybe bring this like down a, a tiny bit? Have it like sort of level off a little? That might be nice. And we can add open world. An open world uh, action RPG about aliens called Rip Squad 4? Holy fuck. Can it be? I mean, this is fantastic. Okay, so Ron Johnson uh, can work on the graphics because uh, he's very good. He's got very high uh, design points. Uh, Eric Robertson? No. We're going to get Drew in to do the sound. Look at this. He's going to go nuts with stereo sound. And uh, Eric Robertson can instead uh, concentrate on world design, which we're not uh, too crazy about uh, for this title. Fine. Rip Squad 4. Holy shit. It's got the uh, makings to... to potentially make us a lot of money and be very successful there's already a lot of hype around this one so let's see how we do fine let's go for it dev stage three in the works look the hype continues to rise look people are so excited about this oh we missed out on the trend uh i think the last trend was rpg and we almost got in there with the multi-genre but maybe not fine see how we do this is going to be uh way ahead of our previous technology well no actually i don't know if we're going to hit the technology milestone we may yet design i think we're definitely going to hit it because uh, i don't think we had nearly as much design as this in the last game that we put out uh, which is very good look at all the research points we got for developing this game as well 174 great we can almost think about creating a new engine which is fantastic uh, 441 hype uh, behind Rip Squad 4 as well, and I think that's the best we're going to do, so fine. We're ready to go. Oh, shit. New record. Look at this. We got a new combo. Great combo. Good management. Oh, big modifier there. Uh, new records on design and tech. We've leveled up to level 7 on stories and quests somehow. 2D graphics V4 at level 3 now, which is very good. Jack Long... Eric Robertson, Kevin Hudson, Vivian Reed have all become young adults now. They can uh, graduate from working at Quickie and now get like proper jobs, maybe as like interns at the White House. Uh, Drew Darpishan is uh, is still a preteen though. He's like the baby of the group, and Ron Johnson uh, offsets him being such a baby by being a decrepit old man. 
So there we go. Fine. Rip Squad 4. Let's see how we do. Oh my god. All these people now want more money from me every month, which is nuts as well. Luckily, we have 126 million in the bank. Great. Fine. Special training is available for everybody as well. And look at all this new research. Holy shit. Interactive story. Moral choices. And 2D graphics v5. Nuts. Fine. Let's see how this does. First reviews for Rip Squad 4 have just come in and... Oh my god, I see tens. I see lots of tens. Come on. Focus on graphics served this game very well, according to Star Games. Can we get... Very enjoyable, according to Informed Gamer. Oh my god, that's gonna be solid ten. Look at that. Outstanding game, Game Hero. Just shy of the ten and... Love it. All games. Wow, not bad. Rip Squad 4, our first multi-genre game, has done very well, I think. We'll have to see. Uh, do we want to research large games now? I think we do, actually. That was the last, the thing that we said we wanted to do last time, so fine. Ron can research large games. Let's get Drew to research, uh, wow, surround sound, orchestral soundtrack. Holy shit, that would be fantastic. Uh, what about Dialogues Gameplay? Cooperative play. Look at that. Cooperative play for 100 research points. That would be nuts, though. No loading screens for level design? That might be nice as well. Jesus, that would be huge to add to a new uh, engine. 3D Graphics V3, though, I think is probably what we want to get as well as large games. Which leaves us with 54 research points. It looks like Rip Squad 4, uh, wow, has sold just shy of a million uh, in the first week, which is very good. My god. We're gonna make a lot of money off this. <laughs> 1.5 million by week two. Fantastic. So good. All right, Kevin Hudson, can you research something for us as well? Possibly. Uh, we've got 54 research points left over, or should we get you to do some training instead? We don't want stereoscopic 3D. Uh, do we want a new topic? Virtual economy for world design. That would be nice. What about new topics? Can we get anything new in here? Vocabulary, surgery, transport. Oh, shit, yeah. That'd be great to make like a business transport simulator, but I don't know if we need it. Maybe we can make an action hunting game. Holy shit. All right, we're going to use these to train uh, Ron, potentially. Um, that might be a good place to end, actually. The uh, sales for Rip Squad 4 are piling in. Uh, we're back up to 150 million in the bank. Uh, Ron is ready to do some training and stuff. Yeah, let's end there. Fine. We're doing good. We're still doing good. We've got two years or, well, a year and a half left to go before there's no more story stuff left in the game, uh, which is fine. We can keep playing, get our research and development center set up and start researching our own console and stuff. That should be good. Um, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.